So what is going on guys, it is Oscar here today and I'm going to be showing you my own personal gaming slash video editing setup. Uh, which is going to be pretty cool for everyone I think, I think everyone kind of likes these setup videos. Um, they kind of like to know what the kind of person who's editing the videos and doing the videos is up to and where they actually work in. So I thought why not make the video, I've got a bit of time on my hands at the moment anyway so I thought it should be a pretty cool video to make. Um, Obviously, we will get around to doing Callum and Ghost at another point, I think, uh, for sure. Obviously, Robin has already done one on his channel himself, so go check that out if you haven't seen that already, obviously. Um, but for now, um, yeah, let's get on with my let's get on with my own setup. So, obviously, the first thing, obviously, is the desktop. Uh, the this is actually a TV screen. It's not actually a monitor. Um, but I've got I've got two TV screens. Uh, one obviously for the PS4, and one is for my T uh, for my PC, obviously. Uh, obviously a few kind of icons here, got Rocket League, uh, OBS, which is of course the streaming thing, got Spotify, obviously the best one there, the Spongebob Squarepants game, uh, Hearthstone's also on there as well, uh, Steam, Audacity, Skype, kind of standard stuff you see on a PC really, um, but yeah, that's all the kind of stuff on there really, and nothing really surprising I suppose. Uh, down here is my PC specs, so obviously you can see here, Intel Core i5, uh, 8 gigs of RAM, that kind of thing. Pretty standard PC, really. Uh, it, apparently, it's got good gaming capabilities, I call bullshit. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of just standard PC, as I said. It was pretty cheap when we got it. I think it was a good, like, £300, which is relatively cheap for what it is. Um, so, that was a pretty cool thing to get as well. So, uh, obviously, obviously, we've got a uh, keyboard and mouse. Uh, keyboard and mouse are both wireless. Uh, they're connected via a little USB thing. I think it's at the back somewhere. But, um... We'll move on to the PS4. Pretty interesting thing, obviously. Uh, so we've got the PS4. Obviously, it's on at the moment. It's got the blue light sliding through it. Pretty standard PS4. Came with the launch, obviously. Uh, and over here, we've obviously got the uh, the PS4 menu, a user interface. Uh, pretty standard, really. Everyone knows what it is. Uh, the best thing about this, however, is the fact that I have a Nathan Drake background. Got to say thanks to Callum for that, because he bought the Nathan Drake collection digitally in order for me to actually get that. So um, that's pretty cool. Um... Different games on there, I suppose you've got Destiny, Rocket League, Uncharted, Resogun, Transfusion, Last of Us, FIFA 16, uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, Rayman Legends, uh, Spotify, Drive Club, GTA 5, Journey, Watch Dogs, and i got more stuff in the library, obviously. Uh, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Fantastic Game, Battlefield 4, Battlefield Hardline, different games on there, really. Um, but yeah, that's kind of standard, really. Down here, DualShock 4s. Old DualShock 4, sorry, oh, that's the old DualShock 4, sorry, the original one that came with the PS4, and inevitably, yes, the rubber has obviously come off the uh, analog sticks for that. The new Glacier White one, less so, they're alright actually at the moment, uh, their analog sticks are perfectly fine, um, and looks pretty cool, I still like this one the most, this is the one I use all the time now, literally never use that one actually, um, but that's pretty cool obviously, uh, a couple of more things, uh, TV remote, TV remote, uh, keys, uh, wallet, PS Vita travel case, and that's pretty interesting as well down here. Uh, we've got the PS Vita, because I would actually have it normally, but, um, yeah, I've got, I've got the, uh, the analog, well, I say the analog stick, it's more like a charging cable, I, th I think you'd call it. Um, but, anyway, here's the Vita, uh, this is the slim Vita, not the old one, so I've got the old one, which is, uh, the old one is obviously the OLED, uh, display, this is the LCD one, and this is slightly thinner as well, you can see there. Um, but here's the games I've got it. I've got a Dr Nathan Drake background, obviously. Gotta love it. Persona 4 Golden, by far the best PlayStation Vita game there is. Uh, it's just brilliant. Um, Velocity 2X, Game of the Year 2014, I've heard. Uh, pretty good. <laughs> but um, that one's pretty good as well. Crash Bandicoot 3, uh, this is obviously a PS1 classic, but a fantastic game nonetheless. Um, Tearaway. That's on. That's actually on the disc, as you can see there. Well, I say disc. I don't know what they call them really, like cards, I suppose. Um, but that's pretty cool as well. So Terror was a good game as well, a medium molecule. Uh, Kills and Mercenary, one of the best. In fact, if not the best first-person shooter on the Vita, uh, was perfectly made for the Vita. Actually, uh, that's a fantastic game, I must say. Uh, and other than that, there's not many great games on the Vita. I mean, well, I'm saying the great games. There are fantastic games on the Vita, obviously, but most of the games I've actually already got. So Golden Abyss I've got as well, but it's not on the Vita because it takes up like three gigs of space. Metal Solid HD Collection, obviously, fantastic game. Um, and we've also got uh, Oli Oli 2, which is a good game as well for just kind of a bit of fun if you want to play some skateboarding action, that kind of thing. So, pretty cool. Vita's a fantastic console. If you have got one and you haven't got Persona 4 Golden, you are missing out, believe me. Um, but anyway, we'll move around, turn the Vita off slightly. Uh, we've got water, pen, money. Uh, that's my uh, amp for like uh, playing music or something like that. Um, over here, it's a lot tidier than it would normally be. That's football trophies, soccer, who cares anymore. Um, Obviously, we've got um, the deodorant stuff. 
randomly showing random shit now. Uh, this is obviously my games collection for the PS3. So, uh, we've got some fantastic games such as SingStar, ABBA right here. Uh, gotta love that one. Um, but uh, we've got Mirror's Edge as well, Resistance Fall of Man, fantastic game. Buzz Quiz TV was actually pretty good, but I don't think it's very hardcore gamer game. Um, Little Planet, obviously, love that as well. Um, Burnout Paradise, fantastic game Burnout Paradise was. Um... Obviously got uh, FIFA, FIFA, there's so much FIFA, it's unreal. I mean, look from here, there's FIFA, I've got FIFA 08. I'm literally, I've got all the FIFAs from FIFA 08 up until FIFA 16. So, basically got eight different FIFAs. Um, but, um, yeah, I've got Pez as well. I mean, I was a huge football slash soccer fan when I was younger. Um, and um, other things we've got as well, Space Marine, never even played that. That was a Warhammer game, I believe. Uh, Smackdown vs. Raw, uh, Madden. Few games that are just random. Lego Indiana Jones. Like I don't know why I got all half these games, but I did. A uh, couple of movies, TV shows actually. Before I swing away, uh, play some network cards. Obviously, Twenty Two Jump Street, fantastic game. Uh, sorry, fantastic movie. In fact, uh, along with the first one, Twenty One Jump Street, that was a fantastic movie as well. Uh, in between is fantastic series, fantastic movies, just brilliant. Love it. Uh, London Olympic Games. Don't know why I've got that. Uh, Come fly with me. That was also a very very good TV series when it was coming out. But. Um, there's some kind of like TV shows, games, that kind of thing. That's why I kind of put all that stuff. But there is an actual special collection. Actually, before I show you that, there's just some shit that I need to get off my chest here. Um, look at this. Like, Monopoly, Monopoly, Monopoly. i got so much shit that it's just... I don't know why I've got half this stuff. Um, but that's all my games, my books. Um, that kind of stuff. I mean, it's just it's crazy, really, when you think about it, how much crap I've got. But um, moving on to the kind of... The, the best part of, uh, of my collection, I'd say, is my Naughty Dog slash PlayStation collection. So, I've got loads of different stuff, really. I've got the Uncharted games from, obviously, 1 to 3, including the Nathan Drake collection, special edition. Uh, the box is actually there, because I don't know where to put it at the moment. Um, the Last of Us is right there, obviously, a fantastic game as well. Uh, remastered as, as on my PS4 digitally, so that's why I don't have uh, a case for that. Um, but, uh, obviously, four DualShock 3s. I don't really ever use the DualShock 3s anymore, because the PS3 is upstairs. Um, Killzone. Uh, Shadow 4 PS4, fantastic PS4 uh, case. I, lo I love that one. It was probably the, the most uh, kind of decorative PS4 case. I, I know that Ghost has got the Knack one, which is just an absolute joke. But um, yeah, at the back here we've got the PS3, the chunky one, the 60 gigabyte original PS3. Uh, and this one is the, the most brilliant PS3 because it would actually play PS2 games uh, back in the day. Uh, but unfortunately I got the yellow light of death obviously um, and now it's dead, never really works ever again. Uh, I've now actually got the slim PS3 but I never use that really. Uh, that's obviously the, just the box for it as I said before, the PS3 is actually upstairs. Um, Destiny, the limited edition version, I got that this year, uh, early on in the year, and I was big into Destiny. Uh, the only reason why I got the limited edition was because it actually had the expansion pass in it uh, for £40, so it's equivalent of buying the game and getting the expansion pass for £40 at the same price that the game would normally be, so it was a good deal, so that's why I got it in the first place. Um, but that's pretty cool, actually, to be fair, it's got some, uh, it's got some pretty cool stuff inside it, but I'm not going to get it out and show you, because it's kind of old now, and you can go look up a video if you really care that much. Um, Obviously, this is the PS4 collection from Metal Gear Solid 5 all the way up to Destiny, the limited edition case. Uh, it's a steelbook, actually, that one. Um, Battlefield 4, Far Cry 4, Shadow of Mordor, FIFA, 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 Kills and Shadow 4, Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare. Loads of different games on cases. Lots of my uh, uh, games are digital, actually, but um, I've got different games that are, that are physical and digital, obviously, so that's always nice to see. Um, Uncharted, the uh, the R of the Uncharted, Uncharted trilogy, in fact, can barely speak as usual. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, came with a special edition. Uh, and it's just got loads of different art from the three games, as you'd expect, really, from the name. PS Vita case, uh, PS2 box, and then that's an album for the Wombats, my favourite uh, band at the moment. Uh, I've obviously got a, um, a poster for them as well, which is the same uh, as, as the art, obviously, over there. Um, but that's pretty much everything, really. I, I can't really say there's much else here. Um, yeah, there's <laughs> DualShock 4. PC, PS4, loads of different stuff. I've got some stuff on the floor, obviously. That's all my work for, like, school and stuff. Some bags, uh, wardrobe, weights, that kind of thing. Just random stuff that you'd have in your room, really. Um, but that's pretty much everything. I mean, I can't really ask you, like, what do you have in your room? Um, but, you know, do you have, like, a, a PC? Do you have two screens? Do you have a PS4? Let me know in that in the comments. Um, but, yeah, I'd like to thank you a lot for watching. And I hope to see you again next time.